Good night, my family. I'm not at home. I'm in a different section of the island, so I can't really speak aloud or project the way I'm accustomed to. However, the work must go on. So tonight, what I want to talk about is the funeral for the three family members that got deleted in Trial Heights, St. Catherine, um, earlier um, back in November. And also, the government of Jamaica has banned all flights from the UK, United Kingdom for a period of two weeks ending January 4th. That and more, plus remember, if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please am asking you to subscribe, plus click the notification bell, and while doing so, select option all, so that way, you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel. And also remember to always give my videos a like for YouTube algorithm, just like them up man. Blessings and more beatitude, buck at it! Yeah, so um, on Sunday, the funeral ceremony, which held at Perry's funeral home in Spanish Town St. Catherine, was awash with grief as mourners recalled the horrible flashback of the triple tragedy that struck Trialites on Sunday, November 22, uh, when a catastrophic event played out, causing public outcry for um, harsher penalties to be laid against these artless subtractors who generate atrocities as they move along to um, eradicate their targets or even random bystanders. So December 20 was the day in which family and well-wishers said goodbye to um, 81-year-old Iceland McFarlane along with her two granddaughters, 10-year-old Christina McFarlane and her 6-year-old sister Michelle McFarlane who were all the race in a home invasion in Trial Heights. And as they recall their detailed uh, memories, sources reported that the senior citizen was made to kneel and was S-H-O-T-D-E-A-D -E before the subtractors also directed their weapons on poor little 10-year-old Christina and her innocent little 6-year-old sister Michelle and discharge rounds to the detriment of their journey that um, has only just begun. And um, as expected, Father McFarlane was inconsolable as relatives and friends watched helplessly while he laid between the caskets of his mother and daughters. And trust me, that's something I would never want to experience. We all will have to part one day but um, not of this um, or of that nature. And the counsellor, which is Keisha Lewis, who um, represent the Lauriston Division, used the funeral to charge the Jamaican society to hunt down the subtractors that are responsible for this shocker and bring them to justice. She's also saying that she's not pleased with what went down that led her to this funeral service of Miss Aislin and her grandchildren. Moreover, she believes it is not the work of one person. They were laid to rest at the Murderess Memorial Garden in St. Catherine. It is mind bothering for me now because deep down, all these politicians that we saw from time to time are trying to use words as an appeasement to try and make the people feel good whenever they speak are a bunch of hypocrites. And the reason why I say that is because they themselves knew that um, the way in which they are going about the mechanism that they claim is effective is not harsh enough to eliminate the chances of these occurrences um, to reoccur. This slap on the wrist that these men are receiving whenever they go about wrecking families, deleting people as if it is a 9 to 5 is just not sufficient to make an exemplary example for the pending others as a capricious deterrence. They need to use somebody as an example, they need to make an example out of somebody. Because currently, we don't see any more police officers that are brave enough and bold like the great Renito Adams that drove fear in these hunters. If you understand me, the only way Jamaica can kinda recover or start to recover slowly and see some drastic changes is the day the DEATH penalty is reinstated, reinstalled and the reinforcement of laws to back it up and ensure it is properly managed to bring these type of creatures to justice. And the politicians knew exactly how to solve uh, the problems of the country but yet still they are circumventing the solutions with pretty words and short-term policies with expiration dates that will um, last momentarily. You understand me? Now you are going to hear about human rights and they are going to tell us that they can just pop out my neck so and they can just inject people so what if one of them do it suppose that the ranks man them have and it no right etc etc one heap of hypocritical bangarang you are going to hear you understand me? but it look cool though to see your son and your brother 
your nephew, your grand boy, your boyfriend, your baby father. Go around and I take out people on expiration dates, delete them like picture, and go around after a couple of years and forward back around, come live big life. No, 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 no. And I said, go, my friend, these so called human rights groups are not for the people. It is all a trick to set up some organizations for some people to get a job and keep money in their pockets. Nothing like what they say. You understand me? It is just another job and they will do about anything and say anything to keep their positions and retain their portfolio. So, them not business about we. Them only solve some case and when them ready, finna make it look no way because of their label as if they are doing what their name, um, um, what their organization name signifies but them not really care about we. Because all of these persons that are in high places making all these big talks also lives in some high places uptown or some very difficult terrain so it is very hard for any arm to reach them. So they are not about the people or for the people. They will do anything to drive fear in the police officers to limit the way in which they um, effectively carry out their duties instead of driving fear in the violence producers that are out there creating a fuck. We never told believe in the come from day one you know and I'm not saying it wouldn't create a balance. But only if they were are really about the people and take a stand against these subtractors that are taking advantage of the weakness they discover in the system that boots their confidence to continue like this. People no make them fool, you know. You understand me? Anyway, that is that. Effective immediately, the government of Jamaica has banned all flights coming from the United Kingdom throughout a two weeks duration ending January 4, 2021. However, um, flights arriving over the next 24 hours and outbound flights to the UK will be allowed up to midnight Tuesday, December 22. And this data release is coming from um, the Ministry of Health and Wellness earlier, um, earlier today in which the Ministry also disclosed that Jamaica is expecting three flights from the UK over the next 24 hours, one of which is already um, en route. And um, passengers on those flights will be subjected to a minimum 48 hour state quarantine and PCR testing to ensure protocols are um, being followed. And um, passengers who test negative will be fitted with armbands for monitoring while they will be released um, to complete their 14 day quarantine at home while those found to be positive will be isolated in state facilities until um, they are fully, um, fully recovered. It says family members of persons who arrive on these flights will be able to pick up their relatives after they have completed their minimum 48 hour quarantine. Family members are also reminded that they must strictly adhere to the infection prevention and control measure when picking up their relatives as well as during the mandatory quarantine period as persons may develop symptoms during the 14 day quarantine and um, therefore transmit the spread of the C19 to others and basically that is what they are trying to, um, to prevent overall. So persons who arrive in Jamaica from other ports of entry via the UK will also be required to adhere to all restrictions in line with provisions under the quarantine act. At this given time, Jamaicans are strongly advised by the health ministry not to travel to the UK. And those who travel overseas including to the UK will be subjected to the established quarantine or isolation procedures on their return to the island which is our island um, Jamaica. And um, that is that. So from me to you my family, please I'm asking you to stay safe this Christmas because as we all can see the C19 is out and um, it is very contagious so please wear your mask as you proceed to, um, to enter the street and um, not only that as we can see this, um, the violence producers are also rampant they are vigilant out there and they are no respecters of persons so avoid trouble try your very best to stay safe and um, isolate yourself from everything that is unlawful so while you proceed to enjoy yourself, please do so responsibly and please obey um, the curfew hours. So this Christmas won't be a merry one obviously, but we have to just do the best with the time that we have and as I say, obey the law and don't break the rules. So please remember, if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe, plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel. And also remember to give our videos a like for YouTube algorithm.
blessings and more beatitude. Buck at it. Bye.